got an engine code error and uh, so I put a diagnostics tool on it and uh, put up the error code uh, P0011 uh, which is a variable valve timing solenoid and uh, this is on a, um, a Hyundai Tucson or Tucson however you want to pronounce that um, I would pronounce that as Tucson but in America you hear people say Tucson so first of all I've, rem I've removed four 10mm bolts from the top cover just to remove that and get that out of the way next is I need to remove a 10mm bolt from down here so I can take this valve out that's the problem I'm not going to replace that today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out give it a good clean I'm also going to take the filter out from underneath there which you can't see right now but I'll show you as when I get to that uh, it's a 14 mil uh, socket that will go on that and take that out I'll clean that filter and I'll give this valve a clean and uh, show you how I go about doing it okay so first of all obviously remove the power cable press the clip down take that away this 10 mil down here get a ratchet on that and take that out so now with this here there's probably carbon on this so I'm gonna have to keep on wiggling at this and working at it to get this out okay so that's how to use both hands for a second and that just pulled out sometimes that can get a lot of carbon on it and it'll be stuck in there and you're just gonna have to keep on working at it until you get it out so now that that's out I'll give that a good clean with parts cleaner and uh, now I'll get to uh, this filter. I'll just um, put this in a bucket so it can um, soak in degreaser for a while while I get to that filter. I'm just giving that a clean of dig with degreaser at the moment. I'll just let it sit in there, out of the way. And uh, before I put that back in, I'll spray it with parts cleaner just to degrease it so I'm not wasting too much parts cleaner on it. So the next part, I'm gonna get that filter out. Uh, so it's not so challenging to get to it. I'm gonna take the the ducting here out, the battery out, so I can get access to just down here where you can't see. That's where the filter is, so I need to get to that. And uh, I just want to make it easier access to do it instead of struggling with everything still in there. The snorkel part comes out easy. Undo these two clips, or well, remove those two plastic clips like that, and uh, then just pull up and off the fitting over there. Okay, so now I get a bit of better of a get a better view on this just trying to show you here this one here I've um, already cracked it with a spanner uh, to get a socket on that I'd have to remove this radiator hose so I'm just going to try and do it right now that's already I've already cracked that with the spanner and you can see I can turn that by hand there I'll get that out and show you okay so that's a uh, filter there that I was just talking about that's out and uh, a lot of the time it's because this little guy here's all choked up why that solenoid doesn't work so we give him a clean we'll give that solenoid a clean put it back together we'll take it for a test drive and see how we go but um okay so with this timing sensor I've drowned it with inox uh, I like that stuff better than WD-40 I think so and uh, so after I've soaked this I've sprayed it up I've, first of all, I've cleaned it with the degreaser, then I've gone over it with parts cleaner, and I'm not going to blow it out of water, so I've soaked it in Inox, and now I just make sure that the valve is working properly, and uh, we're good to go. And this filter here was also really chocked up inside, it took a bit more to clean it than I expected, but uh, it was... I expected this part to be clogged up. I just didn't expect it to be as clogged up as it was. So that's all cleaned out. Same deal, I degrease it first and use the part cleaner to clean it out. And it's probably 95% clean. All right, so she's all back together. I also gave the area a good deg degrees and clean, just to clean everything up while I'm here, bit of TLC. Error coolant temperature sensor. My bad. I forgot to plug it back on.
And that's that. So after a few minutes of idling there, there's um, no more error codes. So we'll see how we go over the next couple of days. If it does fail again, then I know that sensor needs to be changed. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. That's um, pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.